Hey everyone, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to be answering a question which I got on my last video, which was help me answer your questions, which basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to start a whole answer back series where I go ahead and take questions that you have and go ahead and answer them in video formats. And so anyway, today's question comes from a username Size. I'm completely sorry if I butchered your name right there. And so anyway, he says, this is cool. Actually, I have a question that I would like to know. If you have an answer, or at least help me with a little bit, okay. I wanted to merge or embed an AVI file with an SRT subtitle in order to make the same AVI file with permanent subtitles. The software could be either for Mac or PC. Thanks. So basically what he's trying to ask is he's trying to take an SRT subtitle subtitle file and to embed those subtitles in his AVI video file to go ahead and have subtitles in the video file itself. So to go ahead and do this, it, actually I found a completely free way to do this using nothing but free software and this free free version will work for Windows. So I'm gonna keep the current color scheme and don't show this message again, so sorry about that little message. So basically what he wants to do is learn how to embed subtitles inside of an AVI file. And so anyway, this is an absolutely free way to do this using nothing but free software, which I will link in the video's description. Now this is only for Windows, I apologize, I could not find a way to do this on a Mac, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you. So the software that we're going to be using is a free video editor called Virtual Dub, which I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard of before. Virtual Dub, you can go ahead and find from this link right here. Just go ahead and click download. I'll post this in the video's description. You will also need something which is an SRT to SSA converter, which you can also download from the video's description right here. And then you will also need another virtual dub filter right here, which you can go ahead and download by clicking this first link right down here. And then if you need to go ahead and convert your files, so let's say you have something that's not an AVI file and you need to convert it to an AVI file, or if you need to go ahead and convert the finished product file in case the file size is too large, you might also want to download Format Factory, which you can go ahead and download from here, but I will not be demonstrating Format Factory in this video. So to go ahead and get started, we're going to need those three things. So as you can see here on my desktop, I have my virtual dub folder, my SRT to SSA folder, and my subtitler folder. Now the virtual dub folder has my virtual dub editor in it. My SRT to SSA folder has the uh, SRT to SSA converter program, and the subtitler has the virtual dub filter. And then over here, as you can see, I have an AVI file, which I've named Captions. And then over here, I have an SRT subtitle file called Captions as well, which contains the captions, which I want to go ahead and embed into this AVI video. Okay, so you guys are probably watching this and wondering why I went ahead and paused the video. Well, there's something that I forgot to go ahead and mention while I was going ahead and making this video, which was teaching you guys how to make that SRT subtitle files. So basically, if you're trying to go ahead and add the subtitles to your videos like this, you might be wondering, if I don't have SRT files, what am I going to do? Well, I found a little article here on the web which shows you how to go ahead and create SRT subtitle, subtitle files while going ahead and doing it inside of a text editor. So you basically need something like Notepad or any other basic text editor inside of Windows. So you can use Notepad or you can use... Uh, pretty much anything else. So just go ahead and do that and you can go ahead and follow these guys which are here on this website. So it basically explains what an SRT file is and then it gives you the um the, uh, you know, the steps in order to go ahead and create them by going ahead and reading this right here, which is basically just typing one, the length of your subtitle, and the subtitle itself. So basically, you can go ahead and follow this right here if you don't know how to make SRT sub subtitle files. But if you're going ahead and watching this video, then you might already be thinking that I have SRT files, but this here is just for the people who don't have them. So I'll put the link to this in the video's description for you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and continue on with the rest of the video. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up the SRT to SSA converter. Go ahead and open that up and then go ahead and click on the converter application. And then go ahead here where it says input file and click on browse. And then go to the desktop and search for that SRT file, which is right here. Go ahead and open that up and then you can go ahead and change the stuff here. So you can change the font of the subtitles, which you want to. You can go ahead and change the outline and you can go ahead and change the colors as well. Just, just to change the way you want the subtitles to appear in your video. But I'm not going to go ahead and mess with those because I'm just going to keep these the same for the purposes of this video. So once you have everything the way you want to, just go here and click convert. And then it'll say job finished. Click OK. 
close out of that and close out of that. And then as you notice over here, you have another file, which is captions.ssa. You want to go ahead and save that file because that is the new captions file, which we're going to use to embed into this video. So the next thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and open up the virtual dev folder and launch up the virtual dev application, which should go ahead and look like this. Now, the first thing you want to do once there is go to video and then go to filters. Once that's done, go here and click on add, and then it should bring up a window that looks like this. Once in there, click on load, and then it should come up here to something like this. Navigate to the desktop and find the folder with the subtitle subtitler video file and I click on that and you should see something here that says subtitler.vdf. So go ahead and open that up and then it should go ahead and load it up with these things. Then you should scroll down and see something here that says subtitler. Go ahead and open that up and it should bring up a window that looks like this which will make you browse for the SSA caption file which we made before. Just go ahead and click over here for browse and then go to the desktop and search for your SSA file which is right here. Then just go ahead and click OK, then click OK again, and then you've gone ahead and added in your subtitles. Now the last thing you're going to want to do is go up here to File, and go to Open Video File, and then scroll for the AVI file which you have, which mine is right here, and then as you notice it should go ahead and open up the AVI file. And so go ahead and make any other edits if you have any other edits to make, and then we should have gone ahead and added in those subtitles. So if I go ahead and scrub throughout the video, as you notice, let me just drag this over here, let me just make it a little bigger. As you notice, as you notice here, we have our subtitle. So here's the here is over here is the original video with nothing on it, and then over here is the original video with the subtitles which we went ahead and added from that SSA file. So once you've gone ahead and had everything to the way you want to, your subtitles are exactly the same. You want to go here to file and then go to save as ABI. Then just go ahead and save it to your desktop. I'm going to save it as captions one click save and then it'll go ahead and work its magic and save. Now you might want to go ahead and play with the compression a little bit more to go ahead and get your file size down. So to, I'm going to show you how to do that once you go ahead and get done with this. So you, there's a couple different ways to lower your file size because virtual dub makes the file sizes extremely large. So to do that you can go to video and you can go to compression and change the compression options in here or you can just pop that file we rendered back into format factory to go ahead and lower the file size. But since I'm not going to be uploading this video, the file size doesn't really matter to me. So if we go ahead and launch this up, the video should go ahead and play. So as you notice, it's just a uh, normal video. And then as you notice here, we have subtitles to go ahead and go through the video. And so, yeah, so basically that's it. We have our subtitles embedded into our AVI file. So this AVI file that we have has those subtitles that we created embedded into the video. So that's how to go ahead and do it. I hope that answers your question. Serdolosriais, I really am sorry if I pronounced your name wrong or whatever. But anyway, yeah, I hope that answered your question about how to go ahead and merge uh, SRT files with an AVI file to embed your subtitles. I hope this answered your question. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.